Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got everything for you right here. Before we get into some NBA action for March the 12th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section here. And you see it has all these tabs here with all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's get right to it. There's uh, four games. Uh, there's more than four games scheduled. We're going to take over four games for Monday, March the 11th. So let's take get started with this. Uh, the first game we want to look at here is the Phoenix Suns and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Both teams are in the playoff hunt in good position. Phoenix is coming in burning hot, winners of four out of their last six. While Cleveland is averaged down, they are just three and three over their last six, and they are alternating wins and losses. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the teams are trending in games under the line. The score prediction has the Phoenix by 120 to 113, with confidence in the prediction of about 63%. If you look here, um, Phoenix is a very good team on the road at 16 and 13, while Cleveland is excellent at home at 21 and 11. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Phoenix on the upper trend is at plus 17. They have overtaken Cleveland in that category at the moment. Cleveland now at plus 15. Head-to-head, -head, the teams have not yet met this season, so we can't really take that into consideration. If you take a look at the stability factor, both teams have been pretty consistent. You see the chart here. They're pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, plus 18 compared to uh, plus 16. The way I look at this one here is I like Cleveland at home. I'm thinking this is going to be a... Um, and lower scoring game, let's go under the line and Cleveland by five points or less. So it's going to be a competitive game throughout. Now it's in Chicago. Golden State and San Antonio. We'll take a look at this one. San Antonio is going nowhere. Um, last in the Western Conference, ice cold down and just two and four over the last six. While Golden State is still in the playoff hunt, they are in the play in position right now. They are four and two over their last six games, although they have lost two out of their last three. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been trending in games mostly under the line. You see over the last 12, only three of them have been over. The score prediction is for a pretty higher scoring game, though, actually, though. 122 to 112 in favor of Golden State with 67% uh, level of confidence in the prediction. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, Golden State at plus 11. And not surprised that San Antonio down near the bottom most of the year is sitting at plus 2. If you look at the two teams head-to-head-wise this year, uh, they played two games, and both of them end in Golden State. Golden State won the last one by six, while San Antonio won the first one by five. So both games have been uh, pretty competitive. The stability factor, how well are they performing with regard to their favorite underdog stats? You see both teams have an upward uh, ascent in the uh, curve. Uh, both of them have been pretty consistent. San Antonio has been more consistent at plus 41. So in the end, I don't really think there's going to be much of a chance for uh, San Antonio. They are just 7-21 and 21 at home. And the Warriors, although they are only five games over 400, or 500 excuse me, for the season, they are three games over 500 on the road. So let's go with Golden State and a game under the line. Toronto and Denver. Toronto comes in 2-4 and four over the last six and ice cold down. Denver is burning hot in third in the Western Conference, having won five out of the last six. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been trending in games on opposite sides of the line over the last few games. You see Denver over in the last three, while Toronto um, under in three out of the last four. The score prediction has Denver by a 10-point margin of victory, with 87% confidence in the prediction. On the power ranks indicator, you can see the trend here for Denver near the top of the league most of the year, plus 28, while Toronto has been in the lower portion of the league there now at plus 5 on the downward trend. On the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that Denver won the uh, previous meeting as a road underdog. This was back in December by 113 to 104 score. So Toronto was only 10 and 21 at home, which is, excuse me, on the road, which is not very good. Uh, and Denver is excellent at home, 25 and 6. This is a complete mismatch. I think this is Denver to win by at least 10 points, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. The last game we want to look at is Boston and Portland. Boston comes in with the best record in the NBA, but they have lost their last two, and they are average status at the moment, while Portland is ice cold down 2-4 uh, and four over their last six, and they are the second worst team in the Western Conference. 
Over the over under, you can see the teams are trending on the opposite sides of the line. You can see Boston, four out of their last six games have been under the line. Well, Portland, three out of the last four have been uh, over the line. On the power ranks indicator, Boston, not a surprise, at the top of the league all year, pretty much. And they dipped a little bit from 29 to 27 just because of their last two losses, but still at the top of the league. While Portland is down near the bottom at plus three. The score prediction has Boston by eight points, 116 to 108. Confidence in the prediction, not real high yet, at only 59%. I'm thinking as this game gets closer to uh, tip off, that this will be a higher confidence in the prediction in favor of Boston. Um, we did look at the power ranks indicator. The head to head matchup for teams that have not yet met this season. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, we see Boston at 35, Portland at 20, both teams on the upward climb. Uh, so both teams very consistent with regard to performing with their favorite underdog status. So I really don't think this is much of a game here. I like Boston by double digits in a higher scoring game. So let's go Boston and over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for March the 11th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.